Hi everyone, um, today's video is going to be a quick review on the Dabur Vatica Naturals Anti-Breakage Shampoo. Um, this is a shampoo that says it strengthens and nourishes breaking weak hair. And I'll show you the back of the bottle, if you can see that. Um, um, it says it has cactus, gerger, gerger, and garlic. So cactus helps make the hair strong and smooth. Gerger helps nourish hair from root to tip. And garlic helps control hair fall due to breakage. And uh, yeah, I got this from Walmart for about $5. I bought it because I was struggling with like hair fall for a little bit. And I thought like buying a different shampoo would help because I was using like a salon shampoo that didn't really have much to do with like hair fall and things like that. So I decided to try this one out even though I usually stick to salon brands. I was kind of really desperate. I tried Viviscal and it didn't really do much for me. I bought it a second time, I'll show you here. The first time I used it, it really worked, but this time it didn't work for me, so I don't know, and it, this was pretty expensive. Um, so I thought, why not try Vatica? Because I did see in the middle of the ingredients list is the active ingredients, so the garlic, cactus, and gerger. So I thought, oh, okay, that's not too far down the list if it's in the middle. Um, so I really like the smell first of all. It smells like green apple and it smells like really really yummy. The scent stays in your hair for days which is amazing unless you're touching your hair a lot. It stays for so long which I like. Um, I don't know if you can tell by here but it's kind of like a whitish greenish color. Um, it has 400 milliliters in it and to be honest I'm surprised it lathers very nicely it lathers almost like a salon shampoo it doesn't even feel like a cheap lather like you get from the clear herbal essences shampoo it almost reminds me of my salon shampoos which is really nice the only thing is I noticed that I do kind of have to pour out a little bit more because it is liquidy which I do find with salon shampoo sorry not salon with drugstore shampoos but since I didn't pay that much it didn't really bother me now as far as controlling my hair fall I feel like it has helped a little bit I have been using it for only like two to three weeks so I can't say too much about it but I have seen an improvement and I'm not as worried which is good and I've also been applying like once a week castor oil mixed with coconut oil to help with that so I think that has something to do with it too and I've also been taking my medication regularly for anxiety so with everything combined I think that's great um but going back to the shampoo there's one thing I would say that's kind of like worrying and it is that sodium hydroxide is in the middle of the list now, if you guys don't know what sodium hydroxide is, I believe it's like lye and water. But anyways, it's like the main ingredient of relaxers. And if you guys don't know what hair relaxers are, they're the things that straighten your hair if your hair is very like curly or like, um, like very textured and you want to kind of have it like straight. It basically like breaks down the bonds in your hair to get it like that. Um, so... I don't know if that's like bad that it's in the middle. I'm usually not concerned when it's at the end, but I've been using this for a while and my hair has been really soft and I haven't noticed anything bad from it. Just wanted to let you guys know if you're really scared of sodium hydroxide in that case. Um, it does have sulfate in it, but it's not the most harsh sulfate. It's sodium lorith sulfate and not sodium laurel sulfate, which I kind of find kind of like too much for my scalp like the Sebastian shampoo has it and um, I really like this Sebastian shampoo I just can't use it all the time because the sulfate is really strong um, but overall this shampoo is great for being drugstore the price the smell in your hair helping with hair fall um, what else can I say lathers beautifully I would definitely repurchase this again um, 
but you guys know me I like to try new things I love trying new shampoos I think I'm gonna keep trying new shampoos for like the next couple of years and then just settle down on one but yeah I really like this shampoo and I think you should try it and I do believe this brand is cruelty free because when I searched it up I got redirected to the Dauber website and they were talking about how they are dedicating to finding alternatives to animal testing and I did look at some Indian bloggers and they said this brand was cruelty free but please comment down below if I am wrong okay that's just what I believe so thank you guys so much for watching sorry for my anxious voice but I hope you guys like this video and um yeah, please thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.